Hey guys, I'm Omi Pierre. Welcome back to another video. And today I am playing Run 8 Train Simulator. If you did not read the title card, which you should have, I left it there long enough for you guys to read it. Um, I am making possibly the longest cut of cars there is. Now, Run 8 is a really, really nice train simulator. Granted, textures aren't beautiful. Well, because I have them turned down for scenery, but not, um, uh, the actual locomotive itself. Now then, before I continue, you may see things before I do. Therefore, I want you to take into consideration that I will lag. Because this is going to be a very, very long train. With a shit ton of cars. Pardon my language. So... Let's begin. <laughs> this is the train maker upper placer there window. And I am going to use SD40s. No, sorry, ES44s. And I'm going to octuple head this. You heard me, octuple head this. Why? Because this may or may not be a very long train. Now notice. Oop. This one. How many cars are here? Most of these are the default cars, meaning they aren't textured with anything special, only the Run 8 logo. Oh. Well, now that that's done, <laughs> um, that was actually fairly easy. I'm going to copy this into. He Hold on. I need to save or select all of it. Copy to stored. Copy to current. That doesn't do anything. Why? I don't know, but I'm going to place the train on the track. We are about to find out whether or not my game is going to crash. I have eight locos, 158 total units, both engines and cars, 150 cars, Oh dear god, I'm starting to worry. In fact, my my CPU has just hit 100%. My length 10 25 9. This is my HPT empty and this is my HPT loaded. That's an ES44. Oh dear God! Um. Yeah, when I said this is going to be a very long train, I was not kidding. This is a very, very, very long train train I am taking and it goes all the way back here okay then I am going to go to the front unit 
which is all the way over here. Several years later, Now my lead unit is 7708. I'm going to make that go away. There we go. Now then. Long, short hood lead, sorry. Refuel. Sorry. I brought my mouse over here thinking that, oh, this is a... RPG or a, a aw, different kind of game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I thought wrong. Now then, I have to manually go through each engine, refuel each unit. And that's the entire train to loaded. Now normally I have a 7.2 HPT when I'm unloaded. Or empty. MTY. Now then. I am going to go to the lead unit. Which is this one right here. And click full. Entire train loaded. F12. I'm lagging just from looking at it. Now then, I cannot use the aw awesome shortcut control F11 because it will pause the recording like I just did. So I have to stand literally inside the ladder. You can no clip through the cars and engine. You can also open the door. You can open the door over there as well. I now have to go all the way to the cab. Here we go. Just to prove that you can open this door. Now then, here is my MFD display setup. I have the entire locomotive monitor over here, and I have my basic information. Dear God, 648 axles. Now then, let's start this thing up. Set the isolate switch. Start. Hmm. Now then, cabin light, step lights. Apparently there's a window heater, because why not? Dynamic brake. Control. Gen field. Engine run.
Okay, so I just learned something. Uh... If I am to... Reset my position in the cab, I have to do it manually. Which is a pain in the Royal A. Well, those are set. So now then, time to get out. Auto MU the train. MU connection okay, eight times. You're the DPU lead unit. Now I do not know what fencing is. To be perfectly honest, I cannot do that. Now then. M B A R B A K three dash O eight. Now then, I'm a manifest train. I'm going from Baker's or Barstow to Bakersfield, and I'm an extra. Now I have to go all the way to the end of the train and put the EOT or end of train or ETD and train end of train device on the end of this train. I think I heard some of the reefers on, but I'm not sure. See, it just makes sense that I have the oil cars towards the end of the train and not the beginning. Or the tanker cars, at least. Oh dear god, I'm running all over the place. Oh, dee -da -dee -da. Oh, there's no placard on you. Illegal! Illegal! Oh, that's the EOT. Or ETD. Whatever you guys want to call it. I, I'm going to call it an ETD because that's what the guys out by where I live call it. And fly all the way back to my train. It's been 13 minutes and I haven't even started moving. And I'm gonna take several more minutes to get moving because I have to set up the dispatch board with everything for from signals to points and going downhill is going to be really fun I am not going to explain why it is going to be fun. You guys will figure it out when the time comes. Now then, I should, in theory, have the hard drive space for it. However, I'm not sure. Now then, time to hit F7, because I'm lazy. Is that uh oh the window heater? Might as well. Fucking window out. There's the horn. Now then. In theory, when I hit H Yep, those are my dim and those are my full break.
Now then, I have what's known as ditch lights on right now. You can faintly see them flicker. Bells for safety, not sanity. The two lights flishing, flashing, flashing down here. Those are my ditch lights. The bell is known as the crossing bell, according to the game, or sim. So, yeah. And the lights are known as the crossing lights as well, but I, I'm just going to refer to them as ditch lights. Where is the bell? Oh, that's right, it's right there. Also, these are ES44s, aka Jeevos, for those of you who don't know. Now then, normally what I would do is select the train, refuel all of the engines, in this case all eight, and um, also uh, take care in the EOT. And then I would start up the engine and get everything working. However, because I'm recording and it's been 17 minutes, I'm going to uh, just do everything differently. Because why the fuck not? Or why not? I did not just drop an F bomb there. Now then. Normally, what happens is I forget to set the isolation switch to run. And I forget. And or I forget to throw these breaker switches. Oh no! Okay, awesome zoom is awesome. Look at my HPT, or horsepower per ton. Yeah! Um. I may have to call some mid in some reinforcements. Hmm. Did it say that in the train maker upper placer there? No, it said 2.0. I have two empties? Why do I have two empties? Symbol, none. I can fix that. There we go. Oh, and <laughs> the HPT is now two. That's that's a lot better than last time. Train limit, yeah, that's broken. TOB. I have no idea what that stands for. Okay. I like having this up. Because it gives me uh, the front the uh, front and the back uh, brake pressure or brake brake pipe pressure gives me the rear up here I don't think it does down here no my BC uh, my oh I actually I now have the full thing okay this only cut off to here before I don't know why it's I'm seeing the whole thing but my coupler KBLS or 
k pounds, I don't know, is zero because I'm not going out anywhere. This is my row number, obviously. My reverser, that thing. My throttle, which should be an idle, which is all the way over here. This is my dynamic brake right up here. Right now it's off because I don't have it set. And if, you know what? Caution, to prevent equipment when changing from power to dynamic braking or from dynamic braking to power, pause 10 seconds with throttle at idle and dynamic braking off. Save fuel. Center the reverse hand reverser handle when idling. No. I'm gonna set it forward. Reverser handle should be removed when unit is in trailing position. Just a word for the wise. You can't remove this at all. Just in case if you're new. Over here. I don't know why is my radio and my brakes now then before I discovered about dynamic braking what I would do is I would use the independent brake or the locomotive brake this only controls the brakes on the on this particular locomotive right here This is prone to flat spots. This, on the other hand, is not. Release. Minimum. Full service. Suspension, I believe. I cannot remember. HO isn't even a thing, I guess. And then emergency. I, on accident, wrong, wrong lever, will do this. And I will keep holding it. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to put myself into emergency. But right here, in fact, if I do... Shift B. You can see that the brakes are being applied really slowly. In fact, there's more to this, I believe. There is more to that. And that's it in the release position. Up here is your radio. If I could un. Now, I'm just going to leave that muted because, to be quite frank, eh, you know what, might as well. But you can switch if you're connected to, um, Team speak, you can hit channel. Yeah, error reading team speak channel list. And then your tone or your radio frequency. Because I'm going to be entering Mojave. The channel is 1 3. DTMF. If you just hit this and start pushing random numbers, that's the toner. But if you do DTMF, pound, eight, seven, six, six, zero, for example, or pound at the end, 
that is detector at milepost 766.0. Now then, let's get moving. Set my reverser to forward. Oh, and I changed the key bindings a little bit. So my reverser is now numpad 6 and 9. My throttle is the same. My train brake is 8 for forward, 5 for release. And I believe 2 is bail off, I cannot remember. And then 7 and 4 are my train brake. So, th this is a lot easier than having to bounce around the keyboard or use um, page up, down, home, end, uh, delete, insert. For In my opinion, at least. Now then. Oh, and when I had it connect, or when I was on TeamSpeak, I would always hold uh, 7 on the dams server because that's my push to talk. So, I would always slowly increase the um, independent break. Now then, F3 comes up with this. This is the dispatch board. Amtrak station verse um Actually, do I want to go on main 3? No, I want to go on main 2. I screwed this up yesterday. I threw this signal. This was set to normal. This wasn't set to green. So I went foom. Didn't even re And this was yellow over red. Meaning a uh, medium approach, I believe. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Shift F3 would tell me, but I'm not opening that menu right now. CP hut. Need to set norm or reverse. Now if I hit F3 again, this will give me Mojave. Or Mojave. Hikinley. Which I completely forget about sometimes. Jim Gray. Now I want to get all the way up to Bissell. Boron. Silt. In fact, I should have put this in the title card. Part 1, Up to Bissell. Now then, there's a. F I'm given a 55 mph restriction. I'm gonna go somewhere around f stupid slow. So once I start reaching over here, I may need DPUs in order to get up this. Because this is re this can be really steep. Once I hit to pat to Hatchapi, it's basically downhill from there, all the way down to somewhere in here. CTC sand cut to to Hatchapi. Oh, okay, that, that makes sense. Now then, this is going to get kind of confusing over here, but I did it. I did this before, but with an 11 uh, car cut. So, first time I made it all the way up to Bissell. This was two parts. The next time I reached my destination. So. I had some fun. I I enjoyed it. Escape and 
shift F3. Ah. Uh, this is what I had. Diverging approach. Did that say 30? Ah, so it did. Awesome. Now then, hold on. Shift F3. Station name. Da, 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 da. Oh, Valley Junction. Ah, okay, this makes sense. Kinley Detector. Oh, this is incorrect because it's 766.0 not it's not 765.0 uh 788.0 BNSF junction moho yeah this paid in the a right here the fact that it's 25 mph in fact I followed track side speed restrictions, not um, speed restriction, not um, the timetable restriction here. And in fact, going from to hatch P down, I had to control my speed to what I last knew, which was around 55, not 23. So I had some fun with that. Now then. Let's do this. Now then. Either one of two things will happen. I will release the parking brake and I will start sliding backwards against my will because of how heavy my train is. Or I will not move. Now then. Just in case if I start sliding backwards notch one. Shit, that's F4, not F5. Whoops. And here we go. So I'm cleared to move. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on manually, and you will... You may or may not see this. This video is already half an hour long, and 207.8 megs. And rising slowly. So, you may or may not see this. And I was right. My train would have start sliding backwards. As you just saw for a moment there. You know what? I'm going to take the lazy way of doing this. Oh, my cab light is still on. I'm an idiot. Auto start on the locomotives, auto air brake cheat, auto CB, don't need to do that. You're the DPU, lead engine, well, you're the lead engine, therefore you're the DPU lead engine. 
track direction relative to control unit forward. I actually need to set the last four engines to reverse. Reverse. Oh no! Oops. That's only for the lead unit. There's 7808. Now then. Does that set this? No, it does not. Okay. Now then. Now that that's out of the way. Also, I'm using Fast Stone Capture for this, because it will show the windows. Unlike Fraps, where it will only record the game, and Fraps doesn't, or as far as I know, Fraps won't record this. I haven't tested that theory yet. So, we're gonna find out. Right now. I was about to do the control F11 trick. Then I realized, no, you don't do that while recording with Fast Stone. Because that's just a bad idea. This is odd. Auto MU. I think that only applies to uh, engines that you do not control directly. Yeah, because they don't need them. Uh, head and power. I'll explain that later. Um, hmm. This may or may not be a problem. get in the this may be a special video because of how long it's turning out to be
Turn on. Okay. Huh. Interesting. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, if you hear a scanner going off in the background, that's my scanner. Um. So, yeah. I may get into more detail later in the, in the uh, special, but for now, no. Okay. Okay. I'm going to manually place all or connect all is connect to connect is connect to connect I may have to cut off two heads just for sake of DPU. Disconnect, connect. Disconnect, connect. Oh, the fun things in life. Disconnect, connect. Disconnect, connect. I've reached the end of the train. So. First comes to worst, I'm just gonna grab a high rail and then go with lazy okay now then oh it's because I don't have a DPU lead engine anymore right DPU lead unit. That's why. Okay. Good enough. I have a feeling this is these are all the engines. However, I'm not sure. This is fencing. So for instance, I could attempt to throttle up The D 
GPU, but apparently that won't work. That's what happens when you open a PCS, or set the emergency, or set the brakes to emergency. I am quite, quite worried that I do not have cars coupled to my trains anymore. Or sorry, to neutral, which it is. train break back to n normal. That's the locomotive break, you idiot. Now then, if I remember correctly, this number and this number have to be the same. And this one. Well, now they are. Wow. I want to see what happens when I try to go forward again. So many broken couplers. I'm playing in piglet mode for this, mind you. Like, I, I kinda have to now, because Whoa! Holy! I may have to deck a header this.
Maybe not, even though I have a buttload of broken coupler messages. Yep, couplers are still breaking. There's a reason why I stand this close to the train. Well then, an hour later, and I don't have a train anymore. Okay, I'm going to go all the way over here, and I'm going to try that again. This time I'm going to do this a lot faster. Uh, where's the signal? There's the signal. I want to be able to see the signal when I am around here ish. Back up some more. <sighs> Move this out of the way so that you guys don't have to see it. Place train on track. Three years later and some lag. Oh crap. I should have done that. Oh well. I didn't though. I have to hit F1, go to other. Wrong button to push. Relinquish. Okay, this is easy to manage. First off, go all the way to the front of this, and because I know Barstow Yard very, very well, this shouldn't take very long. Especially when I'm running like the Flash. Also, the only signal I'm worried about is the one up here. None of the other red ones. For those of you who are watching and have no idea which one is my signal, it's this one right here. The other ones, I don't need to worry about. This one looks like it's on my track. If it were, then this would be a completely different signal aspect. Right. Auto start all locomotive. Auto MU. Auto CB, Auto AB, Auto ETD. Now then, I don't have to worry about that. You are my DPU lead unit.
it's at F11, F11. Okay. Now then. For those of you who don't know what I just did, go back and rewatch that. Now then. why you turn off the cab light is not that it's like when you're driving on the road you don't drive with your um with your uh, cabin light on essentially do you my language, but, um, fair warning, a bit too late, I have seasick mo- I have kidney busting cab motion on, as well as seasickness. Now when I first went to do this when I wasn't recording, I disabled those because I thought I was going to be recording this. I had to kill Run 8 and restart it. So now then. Fair warning. For those of you who get seasick easily, you have reached the point of no return. I am not responsible if you get Carsick or seasick because of this. From here on out, it is your own fault to watch this video. You clicked on the link. That means you wanted to watch this video. Therefore, I am not responsible for any seasickness that comes to you. Now, with that out in the way, this is going to be one long and laggy night and I ain't kidding when I say laggy this is a very very long cut of cars practically one of each freight car in the sim I mean I'm looking here and I don't even see all of them For those of you who are asking the question, do you have a rail driver? No, I do not. Earlier I mentioned I have um, 9 and 6 as my reverser keys. 6 being forward, 9 being reverse. The default throttle. On the default, default bell. 5 to release the uh, auto brake, 8 to apply it, 4 to release the locomotive or train brake, 7 to release it. I really want a rail driver though, but they cost $200, which is money I do not have. I have a chemistry project project do Wednesday Wednesday yeah Wednesday and 
earlier, one of my uh, lab mates, uh, because we have lab groups, uh, was working on our slideshow. Um, she, I added like three more slides to our project. And we are now over an hour. Longest recording I have done personally. Broken. But, um... She only... I added three more slides. She only filled two of them. One of which is... Not complete. The other is complete, and then there's one that's still blank. Now I would do my chemistry stuff right now if I, when I'm not over any railroad crossings, which should be after I go over um, Barstow Junk or BNSF Junction. I am now going over my speed limit, but only slight. In fact, I'm going to keep it a notch five. Now then, I am going to follow the speed limitations to the best of my ability. In fact, if I hit star, that turns on the distance counter. This goes from zero all to 999, or 9,999. I'm not sure what it's used for, and in fact, I have the run eight um, tips and tricks uh, thing up right now. So if I go to the MFD manual, uh, distance counter it in delay it indicates distance traveled in feet none use it'll read off it has a range of 0 to 909 9999 feet it is now 10 12 at night uh yeah for up here there are several different displays. Um, wheel slip, which will be, I believe, all the way over here. PCS, which will be right next to it. Or, yeah. Wheel slip, PCS, sand, and parking. Right in here. And then over here, EOT error, EOT move. now going through CP Hut, and I am now on the main line for Mojave. FRT Freight EOTID 1000 Independent Brake Lead Over Speed Um...
apparently I'm always over speeding. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. In fact, I'm gonna stick it. Balls, I need to... I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna set the symbol. And in fact, I will... Ah, write down the symbol on a piece of paper, which I have right next to me. Now then. M B A R B A K 3 dash No, it wouldn't be 08, it would be the day and that would be 30 if I remember correctly. That's if I remember correctly. I'm not sure about this. Oh, that's right, there's a crossing, like, the moment you leave Barstow. This is going to be fun. Once I reach Mojave, there is no need for me to have, um, oh shit, I need to drop it down to notch three, I think, because of a speed restriction I have. Um... Yeah, that's a thing. Um, and because my train is heavy enough, I will slow down to thanks to that. But that's not going to do anything, so... I'm going to put the brake on. Only slightly, though, just to help me out. Also, you're... You're able to... Uh, turn on... Ah, uh, EOT braking. Or ETD braking. Depending on what you call it. I will call it both. And yeah, there's my speed limit right there. So I am over speeding as of right now. That means I have to be a notch to safely. To go any further. Now, I'm not sure what the cars behind me are doing. In fact, according according to this, all my cars are still attached. Good. Very good. And for the record, if you're saying double the number of cars you have. I would require either 16 or 20 engines in order to move that. I am not, for the life of me, not going to do that. Why? Because that's just insane. I'll know when the rear uh, has released. Completely. <laughs> Eventually. There we go. Oh, and I'm still losing speed, so. Dodge three. I'm probably not going to go any more than, like, 40. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm 
I'm going to put speed control on to around there. And I'm going to max out my throttle. Now then, what slow speed control does, and it's activated using control C or just copy, what it does is it's essentially cruise control for your car. Where it'll remember that speed and hold it. This is also a very good way to troll someone. Oh, I have an HPT of 7.2. Oops. Oh well, I guess we're doing this empty. crossings they're going all over the place I think it was the I think it was two crossings down actually the arms were stuck in here so it was interesting also I don't know if you noticed but um the gates are going all over the place Oh, here's the thing about couplers. And this is uh, in the Run8 Studios Tips and Tricks um, tab. Other known issues of to which we admit guilt. Because in the way couplings have to be mathematically modeled by using an using incredibly stiff spring equations spring in quotations in order to properly distribute forces throughout the train you may notice wave action or spurging in your train if you are ham handled with your throttle and braking until the train recovers from your gorilla like manhandling of the controls Remember, treat her gently. I laughed really hard the first time I read that.
I'm not sure how far I'm gonna get with this. Okay, if you can see my mouse cursor, this upper bar is the coupler. These couplers look like they're about to destroy themselves. Well, the ones towards the end are okay. They don't, they don't want to be destroyed. Okay, I'm used to signals being over here, not over here. However, in Britain, it's weird because it's the other way around. They're over here, not over here. So I, I do like British uh, railroads, so I do have to live with the fact that signals are over here. Uh, over here. No, oh, well. Oh no, that's just a speed marker. Okay. Or a warning marker. We are now at an hour, 17 minutes, 52 seconds and counting. This is going to be one really big file. <laughs> Sometimes the car spewers spawners malfunctioning cause funny traffic incidents. Perhaps this is actually a realistic thing considering South Californian drivers. Question mark. Oh, if this were a free agent train, I a train where I don't own it, or anybody owns it, like nobody owns it, uh, they will not trip railroad crossings. It's on purpose to sp spare your CPU. Once I get um, to the straightest and most empty piece of land I can find, I'm going to um, stop my train and come b and uh, leave for a moment. That way, a I'm not sitting here lagging for ages and this is probably gonna go into tomorrow for me because I started recording this if my phone weren't dead I have a laptop right next to me uh, it is March 30th 2015 and it is 1029 or 2209 or 2226 apparently 2220 
Here's the next cro or is there a crossing coming up? Yeah, there is. And in fact, I'm going to pause the game here. You guys will hear this humming for a little bit, and I won't take too super long. But actually, you guys won't hear this humming because I'm going to pause it. I will be right back. I have to go do something. Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm with Mistress Master Key. Hello. Yep. So he, if you didn't notice, um, he jumped in on my, I was running uh, TeamSpeak on my laptop, and he just sort of came up, so I stopped, talked to him for a moment, and now he's with us. Yep. I'm currently playing a different game, but I'll be playing Run 8 shortly. Yeah. Good game. 
it is a very good game. In fact, I've been calling it a sim because it's technically not a game. Yeah, it is. A, it is a sim, basically. It's really the only simul one of the simulators in the series that can be called a sim in terms of train sims besides MSTS. Yeah, MSTS is fun. MSTS is a lot of fun. Now my odds of getting a defect are really, really high because of how many cars I have. And you pulled them from different parts of the yard, didn't you? Nope. In fact, I'm playing single player, so I made it in the train maker upper placer there window. Ah, that makes a lot, a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. I am not spawning each car individually and coupling to them. Also, well, my I game is well, lagging. So you, loaded in, you loaded in an extra session, didn't you? Yep. That, that's why. Um, I thought you had loaded like something like the summer session where there was uh, already freight cars. On nope. The All right, is it all BNSF units? NS. NS units, okay. Now then, I'm not what, sure what how loud this is gonna be for the viewers, so my long, long, short longs may destroy your ears. Go ahead and do it. Well, I'm actively in the cab right now because of how laggy this is. Oh, really? Yeah. Right usually runs pretty fine for you. Well, I'm not recording with fraps. Oh, well, actually, I, I remembered reading this is the CPU, uh, the train length is equivalent to how much CPU you're using, or vice versa. The fact that you have a really long train is one of the reasons why you're lagging so badly. Yeah, plus I'm recording this using Fast Stone Capture, which can take up a lot of CPU and RAM if you're not careful with it. Well, yeah, it's, it's like OBS in that way. Yeah. This, the file size, the timer, because I'm recording um, a custom area, uh, it shows up with a timer and how big your file size is right now. 606 points, 607 and rising megabytes. How long have you been recording in total though? One hour, 29 minutes, 12 seconds and rising. That's really small file size. OBS is usually like a gig over at about an hour. Yeah. This is why I love Fast Stone Capture. But does it record as, as high quality as fraps? Ah, uh, well, the custom setting I have it at right now is pretty much my entire main monitor. But in terms of quality, I'm not sure. I would have to double check my settings, which would mean stopping my recording. Yeah, no, I, I just was curious if you knew off the bat, like if it was what what about what it would record in. Probably as high as I can go. Not 4K. I cannot do 4K. No one can do 4K. Fraps can, but the chances of there's there's no real editors out there that will edit in 4K that I know of. Yeah, 4K is so hard to come by. We have 4K TVs where I where I work, but you know, I mean, no one really can get 4K in any real scenario. Yeah. I was killed by grenade launcher. Well, it's time to bring out the rocket launcher. Yeah, like he's play playing, play uh, play reps. Uh, essentially, Call of Duty. And... Uh, we're playing, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh we're basically playing, uh, Call of Duty Modern, I'm playing Modern Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, which is... I just mist mistook my underbarrel shotgun, my underbarrel master key, for a grenade launcher and tried to shoot someone from far away. Hmm. Didn't work out so well. 
Did you blow their head off? No, they blew mine. Hmm. Also, a Harrier just missed me with a full round of fire. Hmm. That moment. Took it down. Nope, someone else took it down. My rocket seems to have missed. Weird. The AT4 never misses. Hey, Jonah. I think I left my crossing bell on on accident. And you can't turn it off? No, I can. It's just I forgot to turn it off. Oh, well, how long has it been on? Pretty much, um. Forever? No, um. I'm at Hickinley right now. C.P. Hakinley, I think. Where's Where's Hakinley in, in in Did you leave from Barstow? Yeah. Oh, so you're not too far out though. Uh, let me check the dispatch board. That's F. Are you sure it's Hakinley and not Hinkley? Yeah, Hinkley. I just heard people call it Hakinley. <laughs> It sounds like you're having a stroke when you do, you know, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I just watched an assault rifle disappear before my very eyes from some the enemy. Very interesting. Also, for those of you who are wondering, Master Key does have a rail driver. I do, yeah, I do have the official rail driver, which I... Which you... Um, which I used, I think, during a run eight set, uh, a dam session, I think. I'm trying to remember, I think I did, actually. Yeah, once. Yeah, once. <laughs> Let's see how badly my couplers want to break. You bet there's no coupler breakage gauge. Actually, there is. Shift B. The only game... I know trains had one in the sessions options, but I, I never had a coupler breakage, no matter how hard I pulled on the couplers. I'm not kidding. Wow. So, my couplers don't want to destroy themselves anymore. And I'm taking 150 cars, octuple headed, with an HPT of 7.2. Fully loaded. Excluding two cars for 148 loads. I have an HPT of two. Now, I don't know if you guys will notice the fact that there's lag, but I... It probably won't be too bad on your end. Um... Remember, you, you lose a, I think you'll lose a couple frames record, on recording that you don't actually notice in the recording. Yeah. Because remember how I told you I got 25 frames in Velocity X and I ended up getting a nice 30? Yeah. But I'd say you're fine. Yeah. Well, you so, know what my computer is, a potato. All the, from Barstow all the way up till now? It, for the first hour, I was explaining shit and just starting to pull out in the Amtrak station at Barstow. Oh, yeah, you weren't too far. You, you, that's a pretty good run. Actually, that'll probably be pretty entertaining. That train then got deleted. Because it had a physics explosion. Apparently, some trucks were misplaced. So here's what I did. Okay. 
I went over to uh, main two, spawned my train in front of the signal just before um uh, main three connect or um uh, goes on merges with main two. Spawned my train, and I basically auto everything. The first time I did it while I was explaining shit. Pardon my language, by the way. Pardon our language, actually. You can, you can always censor it. Remember that. Yeah. But, um. I mean, it's be better if you don't, like, if you didn't have to, like, without swearing in the first place, but it's fine. It's, I think it's fine. You'll be okay. Yeah, but just for the people who do watch Run 8 and are very serious about it. Oh yeah, they will. Well, yeah, but they they give you. Those people would probably give you, you know. Yeah. And give you junk for, for saying anything that seems remotely my generation. Now I'm not saying all of them. Believe me, there were some pretty cool people back on the damn server that were pretty cool with what we were saying. But yeah, I, I get what you mean. But for for the context and the fact that first of all, it's also ten at night. I yeah, think it, people, it, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. we live over in, uh, or not. I'm not gonna name the state, but we're in the eastern coast area. So it's like ten at night right now. Fly. Hmm. Well, people have probably heard our state in a reps video anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is gonna go up on my channel. And yeah, I'm. Well, yeah, it's because it's your recording, but I mean, it seems. Because uh, I rec recommend my stuff, uh, your stuff to, to my people. Yeah, he also has a channel. His is. Which will be in the description, but. Yeah, which. That's really important. Which will eventually be in the description. I may forget that when I um, first upload it, but, um. It will be in the description and or an annotation right over the speedometer. That moment when your shotgun is too close to a person to kill. Hmm. What's that? You're going around a corner too fast? Oh wait, no, never mind. You run eight logic. Yes. Yeah, remember my nuclear meltdown uh, disc, uh, escape plan? <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, we're only going to 102 ES 44s. Do that, but with dash 9s and MSTS. I did it with a grain train once, leaving, uh, heading from, uh, the balloon track at Summit all the way to Essex at 139 miles an hour. <laughs> awesome. But, um, yeah. Go check out his channel. I don't think you have any Run 8 videos up. Not yet, no. Because I never uploaded that test video we did for trainsim.com. But I plan on it. Yeah. You can always put a link there, too. On the trainsim.com place the, for this uh, video. Yeah. And that'll be over the EOT move. Um, light on the MFD. MFD. Multifunction display because I'm using GVOs. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I have to use glass controls or digital controls depending on how you say it. I'm used to aircraft terminology, so I call it glass controls. But, um, or glass cockpit. We're, all, we're, we're, we're everything can break if you put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> yes, essentially. So, even though this is something I wouldn't normally say for a video going up on YouTube for anyone to watch, uh, deal. <laughs> just, just deal with it. I mean, it's, what, 10, 10.30 at night? No, 11 yeah. at night. 
That's that it. moment when you try to shoot down a hind with a machine pistol and then the hind is like, oh, hey, people. How are you today? And then when your stinger misses it. And what I mean by that is no, there were no flares, I just straight up, it just straight up missed the hind. Oh. Shameless advertising is shameless. We recently did a rant about, um, admins. Oh. Not a terrible rant, no. We're not like an, an admin bashing group. I, far from it. Yeah. But, like, seriously far from it. We didn't, we didn't, well, I think we, we bashed a couple admins. I think we bashed a couple had, admins heads in, but not too super many. No, and we weren't doing it. We, we were doing it mainly because of what we've seen. Yeah, we were just... Been the, it wasn't so much of a rant, more like a description of what we see when uh, we play uh, non-matchmaking uh, games. Like games where you can pick where you go. And... Um, we were just describing what we see uh, when we join a server. And in fact, uh, this admin will go unnamed, but uh, one of the admins for on the dams server a, was a mentioned. Well, we'll say a server. Yeah, the hence the reason why I said a this admin will go unnamed. Yeah, because I know, but I'm just gonna leave the admin the uh, server name out for now. Yeah. That can always be put in an optional annotation if you want to, or you can put it as like captions. That's that again. That part's really up to you on your videos, but yeah, I I might completely forget about it. But um, this this particular admin I don't really like, and he's very very uptight and strict. Which, considering it's run eight, isn't a bad thing, but, but it's not always a great thing. Yeah, and us being admins and server masters, admins for each other's servers. Team speak and uh, Unreal Tournament, respectively. Yep, ninety nine, to be even more respective. Um, because yeah, Unreal Tournament three is too complicated. Yeah, good enough. Um, we both know what it's like sometimes to have to deal with users who aren't responding very well, but, um, when you need to get information from a group of people on your server about what happened, and you're very strict and uptight, and you say, okay, everyone, silent. And only, I only want the person who I specifically say their name to speak. That is the absolute worst way to get information from some people. To get information from that group of people. And this particular admin on the dams server is like that. And I don't personally like him. Mm -hmm. Because of that. Because I'm a server master and an admin. Uh, server master for a TeamSpeak server I have, and a server admin for DJ. for uh, Master Keys or Digitrax's. Um, UT server, Unreal Tournament, respectively. We're bringing out all my nicknames tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Skrilly, Delta Six, Didatrex eighty three, Master Key, Luna. Pan Am Railways. Yes. <laughs> Guilford Rail Hunter. <laughs> I have like one username, maybe two. You have two. Yeah, like, I have two main usernames. I have too many. Yeah, he has too many. 
so that people can't t determine my identity or my gender uh, right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and... Uh, Master Key hasn't experienced this particular admin yet, so... Maybe? Uh, yeah, has he ever come on when I've been on? Uh... I think he has, but I don't think he's ever used his microphone. That's probably true. Or if he has, I just haven't experienced him talking. Yeah. But, um... Here's the thing. When this particular admin is in the same you room as another particular man. admin... I mean, this is your let's play, after all. If... if that's what you want to call it. I'm not sure. It's not a let's play. play. It's just a special. It's a. I mean, a regular special. The first special because it's my first time recording nonstop for over an hour. Oh yeah, that's well, big rigs. Yeah, but that was big rigs, and that was under an hour by like four minutes. What? Okay. Yeah, that that doesn't count. Because it's big rings. Yeah, then it's a silent video. You need to watch it with um another video in order to um understand why that exists. I wish I, I wish I could sync them up. <laughs> I'll try to at some point. I'll make it a challenge. So the big rigs video will be over the road number. And Digitrax's Velocity X video will be over at the distance counter. Oh, you're gonna do those like linked annotation things? Yeah. Because, okay. because why not? No, no, that makes sense actually. Yeah, and I'm just putting them on different parts of the MFD that I'm looking at. And have one be right over the speedometer really jar people. Just in the spot of the alerter. Yeah. That would be funny. Just turn on the alert. Okay, I'm not gonna do this, or I might, but only for a moment. Uh, enable hogger mode. Just so that I can see where the alerter sits. That way I can put an annotation there, like a linked annotation there, for something. It might just be a random video that one of us has made. Anyway. So what are you up to? Me? Yeah. Um, let's see, besides blowing up, uh, aircraft, um, not much. I watched The Voice for a good chunk of today, <laughs> for the past two hours. It's actually some really good talent out there. Hmm, neat. Spent most of my day learning, because fucking school. Uh. Yeah. If I hope you guys didn't hear what I said, but Master Key, you should know what I said. Oh right, the uh, the idiot running the gates. No, uh, a special bomb in the middle of a sentence. Oh, the F shape. Yeah. The, the, the fuelogen bomb. The fuelogen. The fuelogen bomb. Fuelogen bomb inbound. Fuelogen bomb. Fuelocopter incoming. Enemy fuelcopter inbound. Enemy UA feel incoming. Enemy feels up. 
white. Okay, because I'm really bored, I'm gonna sit on uh, the running board of the engine. Don't mind the fact that I'm about to no-clip through the door. Oh, hey, it's going to be, it, it, on the last topic of the admins, one of the admins from HX is on his, their server right now. Hmm. I am now sitting on the running board. It was probably not a good idea to go prone underneath the Harrier Strike. Directly under or directly above? Directly under. Ah. Stinger, apply directly to the forehead. Stinger, apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> Pull trigger. So are you gonna play Run 8 in a little bit? Yep. Okay. I'll probably try and do a little bit of switching on the summer session. Huh. There was a heavy... I learned there's a really big heavy freight that's like 50 cars long in the summer session. Huh. Neat. I think I told you about that. It was the five uh, engine long consist. Oh, if we're gonna do train racing, we need our own personal server to do it on. Yeah. Right, because yeah, cause dams won't allow it, and all the other servers are not open all the time. They're scheduled. Yeah. Dams is the only 24-7 one. Makes some sense. You know, I may be in last place out of two people on my team, but I'm doing pretty shitty. Hmm. Like, I don't know where anyone is. Yeah. This is why... People invented riot shields. Exactly. That moment when a quick scoper is still trying to kill you and you have a riot shield on. Mind you, Master Key is a PC gamer, not a console gamer. The only reason yeah, why. It's great when someone knifes you in the toe. But, um, we're, we're both PC gamers. We do not do console whatsoever. Well, oh, except for you. Well, except for PS2. Yeah, PS2. Classic consoles, I suppose, is, is I guess, the, the better way to put that. Yeah, we don't play. We will play old gen consoles, but we won't play any of the newer ones, so don't even bother asking. We do not have the money for it. Period. Oh, that's right. Uh, the 100 car uh, m railroad model group. Remember that group? from the train show. Oh crap, you know what I just realized? It was in March we were gonna go to that Pan Am layout. Yeah. Balls! That was a, like, couple days ago. Crap, I wish you reminded me. Yeah, well I couldn't have gone anyway because of the competition. Oh, yeah, that's true. Great. We will explain what we mean by the competition later. I've nearly been recording for two hours. Just five... Like, four minutes, thirty seconds short. We got an admin taking action. I'm liking this. Entertaining. Hmm. Oh, I take it the admin is starting to wake up um no well he's taking action in a good way hmm. um man because it seems like there's this guy that's killing there's only two people on my team me and one other person and 
I'm dying instantly, by the way. Awesome. Like, the, the game is lagging, like, every single time I try to get a kill, and I have 71 ping. Yet, for whatever reason, when he plays Call of Duty Online, he has the worst ping in the world, but he's able to play the game and beat everyone. Well, someone called him two hairs. I'm gonna take him down with one stinger. Hmm. Yeah, I just destroyed two Harriers with one Stinger missile. Hmm. Uh, and we have someone kicked for technically spawn killing. It, we're on Rust, by the way, which is one of the reasons, because it's small. So it's like basically whenever I spawn, I'm getting killed. Lovely. I, I, I am 4 in 52. I, I just want to put that out there. Oh, guys, I'm not trying to advertise for uh, Run 8 Train Simulator, but, um, get Run 8, it's 40 bucks, and it's worth it. It really, truly is. Yeah. The first sub or route you have to get is, um, the Mojave sub. Which... Oh, we got a guy calling out the uh, admin. I could, well, I could kill us. You obviously don't know how to correctly moderate a game. Really? In a way, he's right because he, he's saying, you know, if I see a red dot, I run towards it. So, in a way, I can believe that, you know. And Rust is a small map, so in his defense, I can sort of see where he's coming from. You know, if you see an enemy on the map, you're gonna run towards it. But the fact that I'm always dying within, like, literally within, like, the second I start running in, in the map. The only fun thing is it's giving me a lot of shit to shoot down. Hmm. Yeah, you may have to put, like, a sensor shield on this video. Well, as long as we don't drop any special bombs, we're fine. Them, any what sickle bombs? They start with an F. Oh. Oh, and uh, here in the system requirements. Oh, it. Run 8 Train Simulator runs on Mac with VMware, uh, Windows Vista, VMware XP, like hmm? It's VMware, it's like virtual box. Yeah, it's a virtual machine. Uh, virtual machine where? Yeah. Uh, Windows Vista, Windows XP. Windows 7, 32, and 64-bit. Windows 8, and Windows 10. You give that 8.1 users, you are screwed. Yup. Gee, I wonder which person has 8.1. I don't. Oh, I thought you did. I have 8. I never went to 8.1 because I heard horror stories of it screwing things up really bad. Ah. Um, you are able to, we are now over two hours of recording, but only by half a minute. Uh, you can put this game on a flash drive. Seriously, you can put it on a flash drive, and it'll work. It's smaller than MSTS. For those of you who don't know what MSTS is, Microsoft Train Simulator. Uh, CPU, AMD Athlon 64X X2 Dual. Core, 
dual core 560 plus 2.80 gigahertz RAM 3 megabytes of RAM and it will only use around 2 megs due to .NET memory management stuff grumble grumble sigh GeForce GT 440 1 gigabyte VRAM uh, I'm looking at picking up a GTX 610 I think it is or a 610 soon Ah, that the unlisted be requirement. Master Key, you should know this. What? You need... Model. You need Pixel Shader 3.0 in... And Vertex Shader 3.0. Hmm? And uh, Vertex Shader 3.0. You have to have both Pixel Shader 3.0 and Vertex Shader 3.0 in your graphics card. Otherwise run it will not start this is important you cannot bypass this by any way nope there is no way you can bypass this the only reason why we know this problem exists is it's a, a, a hardware thing and, and my graphics card doesn't have a shader model 3.0 has two, and he used to have a 2.01. In fact, he ran run eight or tried to on a graphics card from 2004. And it <laughs> loaded the first time. It it loaded every single time. However, it was just a black screen of death, or a black sky. So. And this is getting really laggy, and what I mean by that is my game literally freezes for two to four seconds. In this case, about seven to eight seconds. In wow. Counting. You're getting client. No, it's either client side or server side. You know the difference. You seriously know the difference. About lag. Find but out. Normally that doesn't happen. Normally I'm still mo can move in the game and it'll just jerk me around when it, wherever it needs me to put me. But in this case, it didn't. Then you're getting uh, server side, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment. Yeah, I'm getting server side. Yeah. My whole game is freezing when that ha when this is happening. Yeah. Okay. I might disable the comment section for this video Why? because I don't want anyone calling random BS on me. You really do what I do, which is on that particular video have a thing that says allow comments only if they're approved. Yeah, I'm so not doing really that. Start calling you out. You can always just disprove those or leave those in the mark to spam area. Because if they get marked to spam, they can't be put out there until uh, um, you know. Yeah. So, I would do it. It's just I'm too lazy. So, I'm just not gonna put any comments. On. I'm playing on another map that I hate. Lovely. Skid Row. Ah. <sighs> I kind of, um... If I join in the, uh... No, I'm not going to, because that'd be, that'd be considered Mike spam. I was going to play that, that, my little, that um, MLP-themed song I played for you earlier. Oh. While switching. I'm not on dams, you idiot. No, for for my switching. Oh. Okay. Pay no attention to me. Just have the giant pink ES44 driving backwards. <laughs> oh, by the way, you know I will. I am on the server because I will be switching with NSGVOs. As the yard yeah, master. Do, regardless of how long your train is. Yeah, going five miles an hour and with the bell on pretty much all the time. Um, this may actually be an internal. This may be a client side issue, actually. Oh boy. I'm gonna look at Task Manager. Explorer might be acting up again. I'm coming up to a railroad crossing. Awesome. Give me 
a sec. I'm using 1.7 gigs of RAM, and so I don't really see what's causing the lag. Malware bytes is taking at 221. Well, let's kill Steam. We don't need Steam. Oh no, that's gonna actually make things worse, isn't it? Don't you need Steam to run uh, reps? It actually no, it's run, left running right now as a web helper, and it's still running. Hmm. I think it's only if I kill Steam via normal means. Okay, so ah. Explorer is using a CPU. I'm gonna kill the Microsoft anti-malware service executable. Because it's taking, a, it's trying to run a scan in the background, I think, and I don't need that right now. Hmm. That might be it. the reason why. UAC virtualization? What the hell? Okay, I'm putting uh, reps, changing the priority to high. Eventually, I'm gonna be that one guy with all the defaults. Uh, yeah, with all the defaults and all the um, purchase yeah. uh, payware stuff. We both have the same payware, don't we? Hmm? We both have the same payware, don't we? Uh... What do you have? Uh, the Amtrak, a one-pack. Yeah, I have the Amtrak pack and the, uh... Ah, uh, couple others. I'll list them in a moment, but I'm coming up to a crossing, and the whistle post is right in my face. Also, I'm going around 38 miles an hour. Wow. Also, this is the second time I am going to uh, BNSF Bakersfield. And I'm actually going to complete the journey. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care about hard drive space right now because you you will because eventually you're like I'm out of hard drive space. Yeah, at that point I'm going to be like balls, I need to make an ending. The moment when you hip fire someone at 500 feet and kill them right in the kill them. Hmm. Actually, it's not a moment that's just a common occurrence. It got rid of rocket launcher even though it's on an all weapon server. I'm not kidding. Brilliant. But I have the Amtrak Pack 1, the... Ah. Oh, the Amtrak Auto Rack, the Auto Rack Pack 1, and the Reefer Car Pack. Oh, that's right, I forgot you have a couple that I, that I don't. Yeah. Enemy UAV spotted. Also, on the auto racks, it says do not hump. Yeah, I humped uh, Amtrak auto racks. That can be taken one of two ways. Please take it appropriately. Yeah. For those of you who are actual rail fans and know what I'm talking about, good for you. For those of you who don't know and are childish, or just don't know, or just straight up don't know what we mean, uh, uh we're from Russia, but we speak American because we're from America. Yeah. I think, uh, while I'm recording, Master Key will explain, um, what the hump yard is. <laughs> well, <laughs> you see, when when two things happen to love each other very much, <laughs> not in that context, you idiot. But here comes a detector. detector. Detector milepost seven six seven, six, six, point six zero. point zero. I'm not happy, Bob. 
not happy. All right, why? Be specific, Bob. Okay, why are you unhappy? Your customers make me unhappy. Okay, let's see if I really have 648 axles. And let's see if I have a problem anywhere on the train. I shouldn't have a hotbox because it's nighttime, according to my computer. I'm gonna go play with bots for a moment before I jump into run eight. Ah, uh, okay. And can you demonstrate the hump yard while recording? Oh, you want me to jump in on my own recording? Yeah. Okay. Might be able to do a little one. Wait, did I just lose my whole menu? <laughs> I'm not kidding, the whole menu just disappeared. Lovely. But here are the list of the new weapons. The A94, the MP40, the M8A1, the AK-12, the Hammer, um, the HAMR, the R870 MCS, the M27, the ARX-160, the Remington R5, the MP7, the M, the uh, Cap-40 machine pistol, pistol, the Commando Knife, which is in the pistol category for some reason. Hmm. Uh, oh, the MS is in the Gaunt. No, wait, I'm still in the detector right now. You can get a minigun, I'm not kidding, from the care package now. You can? Yep, they ported the death machine from Call of Duty Black Ops over. Okay, I am now outside of my train, and I just overshot the detector. This right here is the detector. This is literally what it is. Now then. This piece right here, if you can uh, see my mouse cursor, this piece is to detect um, hanging equipment. This piece right here uh, detects hot boxes. Um, which I'm not going to explain right now. And it also counts the number of axles. Basically, how many wheels are on the truck. Or how many wheels uh, sets in total you have. Each truck has two wheels. And yeah, this is going to be a while before the detector is over before I uh, get off the detector. Uh, I do not see any placards on this car. You are breaking every law! Same goes with this one right here. On the next one, however, the Procore one, there is a placard. Uh, I'm not sure what the number is, because I cannot see it anymore. Uh, 2155. So I believe the yellow one is sulfur, but I cannot remember for the life of me. Wait. Hold on. Is that railroad crossing still on? Yes, it is. Okay. Good. Because if it were off, like it can in 
uh, MSTS, then I would not be a happy camper. Wait, run that by me again? In MSTS, once your lead units plus couple of cars are beyond the crossing, the railroad crossing turns off. And it does and it shouldn't happen. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how long your cut of cars is. Or no. That's only with one particular uh, crossing that I have a problem with on Mariah's Paz. That happens. Everywhere else, it's fine. That's weird. Yeah. I think my version of bots doesn't work at the moment because of, of the new update, so I have to... Hmm. Does Wait. Does this mean I have to... No, I'm hallucinating. Never mind. Carry on. I think I have to look up RSE again and see if there's a brand new version of it. Okay. Because... I have to intercept my train because I cannot use the control F11 trick. By intercept I mean standing where the ladder is and or thereabout. Yeah. Yeah, right here is good. And Let's see. Not this one. Shit. Sorry. It's just I missed the ladder. So I need to do that again. Might be the actual mod that I'm using. I think it has to be the Pots mod. That may work. Mainly because the Here coding is probably Oh, that's right, because the coding doesn't use GSC, which is why RSE doesn't work and which is which uh why bot warfare will. My problem with bot warfare is the problem is the bots play better. Hmm. Which is bad for me because I'm a bad player. I guess we'll fire up run eight for twenty minutes and be like, hey look, stupid recording number eight. <laughs> BNSF detector mile post. I know what you're gonna say, don't ever do that. Six, Failed six, in it after eight, tried to use no when it isn't valid. Hmm. So the end of my train hasn't gone over in the detector yet. Good. And for those of you who are watch who weren't watching carefully or are very slow, I hit DTMF pound eight seven six W. Hold on. Seven six six point zero. No defects. No defects. Total average. That stopped you dead in your tracks. Also, did you ever look at my GIF on TeamSpeak? No, but I need to re-listen to the detector message. BNSF detector milepost seven six six point zero. No defects. No defects. Total axles.
degrees, BNSF detector out. Um. I think we have a defective, uh, detector. Because my total number of axles is, according to the train, is 648. According to the detector, I have 584. I think we have a defective detector. Also, it took me about a block and a half to get over the detector. Nice. That's how long- um, Can you see what Steam game I'm playing? No, because I'm not running Steam. Or I'm not running Run 8 through Steam. Uh oh. I'm running Run 8 Battle for Mojave. Hmm. Best version of Run 8 ever. No, my version is Run 8 Vermonter Edition. Different strokes for different folks. Hmm. Different strokes for different folks. Yup. Oh, and to be per now for people who disagree with me and say they like a better uh, phase of Genesis than I do, or one's better than the other, you can go away now. But to be perfectly honest, I like um, the Phase Three and Phase Four uh, Genesis engines as well as cars. Hmm? As opposed to the one that we see every day. Yeah. Because... I don't really like the wave feeling of... Or the metro feeling of, um... Phase 5. Of Phase 5, yeah. It doesn't suit the Genesis very well. I have to keep hitting F12 now to get... Oh, please tell me Fraps is running and please tell me it recognizes running it as a program. Why, do you not want to have yeah. to open up uh, OBS? I, I would prefer not to if I don't have to. But I'm getting the feeling I'm going to have to. If I start, I'm going to look at my Fraps folder in a second though, and make sure that it's... Um, I have to kill the Toshiba service station again. Taking up that much room, but the fact that it's there. Okay, it finished loading the world in run eight. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, but let's let's just look. Go to my fraps folder and see uh, where it's if it's gonna create a full movie file in there. If from uh, where is it gonna start? Yeah, see, Fraps Movies, Video Capture Hotkey is page down. Oh, that's bad. Oh! <laughs> really bad. That means you're setting the reverser. That's whenever I apply a certain break. So, I'm gonna do my asterisk. Key. Oh! Numpad asterisk, recording at... That starts seconds. the distance counter on MFDs. Wait, what key does this game not use? Gee, that's right. Because I'm not in freaking multiplayer. Uh, F9 isn't used by anyone. F what? F9. Yeah. That's not used by anyone. Okay, good. Fantastic.
Hitting F9. Oh, we are recording. Awesome. Hello. This hey is... guys, we're recording at 17 frames a second because, um... Fraps. It's broken. It does say that it's Run 8 Train Simulator. Awesome. Um, I gotta go back to my engine. Hmm. <laughs> Where did you put it? In the high rail? No, 7679, Union Pacific ES44. Okay, so, are you, well, uh... We're gonna keep our voices down a bit because of people upstairs sleeping, but... Eh. Auto but, um... Out of EOT. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm, I'm recording right now. So, this okay. has been, uh... Hey guys, this is Master Key here. With Alpha 1, or Admiral Mape, and this is actually during my recording, and I don't mind. I genuinely do not mind uh, Master Key recording during... In, in the words of uh, Will Smith, I ain't even mad. Hmm? In the words of Will Smith, I ain't even mad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so... The only reason why I mention that is because I'm recording at around the same time and I've been recording for over two hours. In fact, for two and a half hours, give or take. So Master Key is going to have some fun uh, in the yard. Doing switching at, I think it's Bakersfield. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Oh, wait, that's the full length train. Oh, okay, wow. so I have to navigate my way around this parked freight train. Awesome. Get into the yard. I think I'm moving a little too fast for this. Oh, let's take a look at where we need to go. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, we got a ways to go. No, I was just uh, looking at uh, the Shift F3 window. Only the big problem I have is that every single time I hit F12, it repositions something. Hmm. It, rep it repositions the fraps counter. I'm doing 26 in the yard right now, but I'm gonna slow down. Hmm. Yard limit is 15. Well, I throttled up a little too high, so... Oops. This is the reason why I stay in notch 1, everyone. Especially in the yard. Yeah. Well, I throttled up a little too high, mainly because I needed to get moving, because I thought my brakes were on because I had coasted to a stop from, like, 10 miles an hour. Ah. Oh, which brings up something really, really funny and really, really stupid uh, we did one you time. Our, 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 uh, our switching uh, back at dams? No. Parking brake. Oh, you mean where we almost sheared the parking brake off the ES-44s? Yep. So what happened yeah. was, is we, we learned... Over to my house, and we had uh, my rail driver set up. And so what happens is, is we're trying to figure out a way right. to disable the parking brake. Because so, we didn't know where the control was at the time. Yeah, we now know what it is. It's F5. But, um, what we did, what I did was I started throttling up thinking it was an automatic parking brake. It wasn't. Notch 1, parking brake is still on. Notch 2, parking brake is still on. Notch 3, parking brake is still on. Notch 4... No. No, at around notch 4, maybe notch 5, the wheel slip indicator was on, and it was on uh, notch four. The wheel slip indicator came on, 
and I was like, yep, I'm not doing this anymore, and I set the uh, throttle all the way to zero. And then I proceeded to put the throttle back up to run eight. <laughs> and we started moving. Albeit with a large grinding noise. Yup. We then discovered two minutes later that the key for that was F5. This track is built to go around a pillar on an overpass. That's awesome. Also, I want people to know that there is no number on the number board here. Meep, what, what's the key for the alerter? Because I just, I just got it. Left alt. Mashing. Okay, because I started mashing the horn a bunch of times because Z wasn't working. This isn't MSTS, you idiot. It should be. Well, it's also, not. fun fact, my numpad delete key works as putting the reverser in neutral and reverse if I don't have num lock on. Awesome. Otherwise, it, it turns the bell on and off. Hmm. Uh, for... Yep. My control scheme is completely different than everyone else's. But, um... In fact, the viewers already know what it is if they've gotten to this point from the beginning. Uh, but... My throttle indicator hit... My, uh, projected speed indicator has been really screwed up. My projected speed indicator is hiding behind my current speed indicator. What I mean is if I, like, throttle up to, like, 1 or 2, it'll jump to, like, up to 80. Oh yeah, it does that. It happens with me. It seems to only be Jeevos, though. Yeah. Well, that's because Jeevos are... And, um, B-42s are the only engines in the game right now with MFDs. So, that's why. I think the... The angle cocks have been reset for normal operation. This is Union Pacific MRV WC2. Would you like permission to pass a stop signal and proceed onto the main line? I'm on the main line. Oh. I think. Let me look. I'm, um, one track away from the main line. I think I lost my fraps key. F9. No, I mean, like, I think I lost a different key. Oh. My, uh, overlay key. Mm. It needs to be in the top. I... It's F12. Okay, the game is still working. That's all I'm gonna t I... That's not what I wanted to do. Is not what I wanted to do. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. For those of you wondering uh, what I have for MFDs, I have the train. Hold on, I need to super zoom into the M one the MFDs. I have the train stats page up. And then I have the advanced version of the locomotive monitor up. Basically, I have the monitor version of the locomotive locomotor. So the advanced version of the locomotive monitor is on my left MFD, and my train stats are on my right MFD. And unfortunately, I don't have a conductor, so this MFD is t uh, turned off.
locomotive brake on right now. I'm gonna crank the throttle up to notch two. Slowly release the locomotive brake. Brakes are released. We are now moving at three miles, at five miles an hour. Oh. Uh, for those of you who have been playing Run 8 for quite some time now, um, the 225.15 uh, update was because of the person who is talking right now. Me? No, me. Because. You have I, the reason for it? Yeah. Because remember, I kept having uh, graphics uh, problems with my Radeon card. Oh, did they tell you that that was the reason? No. For the update. They were. Um. No, I just knew it right off the bat because I suggested to them, "Why not put a you button?" You also the reason for that patch on dams. No. Yeah, because that was the ATI patch DXE, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you were responsible for. Well, that too. But, um, the update, I suggested, um, the use of a uh, auto CB, auto circuit breaker button. For those of us who can't find the circuit breakers. Because our screens don't show the game. Yeah. Well, also because the breaker on the P-42 is at your knee. So nobody can, can find it. Can the start hmm? I can reach the breakers fine, I just can't reach the start button fine on the P-42 because of the way the seat is. Oh, yeah. I figured out where the starter switch is on the P-42. Where? Um... In fact, I'm going to physically do this as if I were in the P-42, but um, if I turn on my flashlight and actually go the right way, let's, and go up, let's say this right he here, and when you see the video, um, Master Key, you'll uh, see what I'm talking about. Let's say this right here is the uppermost part of um, the back panel for the P-42. There are a line of switches similar to this, but not exactly the same, along this uh, panel back here. There's only one row of it, of them. What you want to do is you want to go from this side over left to right like how we read you want to count four and then you want to go over one and you want to click that fifth uh, switch in order to start up the locomotive the one directly next to it I think I can't remember is the engine kill switch I'll have to listen to the recording again. I'm on my way out of the yard. Why? Are you taking a cut of cars? No, I'm taking that five unit train. Uh. Like, taking a cut of cars onto the main to take them somewhere? Yeah, this was a pre built contest in the summer session. It's like 50 cars. Uh. The full fledged contest. I, I read the. The, the, the train name. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Let me click on this. This is Union Pacific MRVWC2. What is it? MRVWC2. M R V W C2? Yep. And because UP is UP, 
I did it in BNSF format. Uh, Jonah? Yeah? Um, that cut of cars is going to West Colton. Okay. So that means you have to go to, uh, Barstow in order to actually have them deported over to West Colton. Okay, well I'm going over on the rightmost track onto the main line right now. I'm just transferring out of the yard. Okay. I'm leaving the Bakersfield, which is where the train was parked. Wow. I thought I was gonna make it all the way to Bissell. I'm all the way at Jim Gray. I'm doing about 20 miles an hour because the last couple of cars are on the switches. I'm doing 38. What notch? 8, but I have slow speed on because of how long my cut of cars is. Probably doing closer to 30 now. I have her only a notch 2 as well, that's the funny thing. Hmm. I'm cranking. Okay, now that's the last car. I'm gonna quickly run back and close these switches out. Well, according to my engines, I'm high- or my, uh, notch level, I'm highballing it. But according to my speed, I'm not. You're grandmaing it. Yes. Exactly. No, grandmaing it is five miles an hour. That's considered fast for, like, Engines like 319. Oh. Smoke Belcher. Yeah, I remember how fast I told you when she was on the train with 77. I was like, 10 miles an hour is pretty fast for her. Yeah. Yeah, it might is. Be out of her, might, might be out of her speed range. Might blow a gasket. Yeah. You might need more uh, smoke pellets in there. I'm getting like your frame rates for uh, this game right now. Wow. I'm getting 14 frame, 14, 15 frames a second according to Fraps. I'm getting like... Meanwhile, I get a normal fine frame rate with OBS. I'm doing 35. In match 5. Why? I don't know, it's flat level track here. Um, okay then. I'm in hogger mode too. That's probably why. Because I'm in Picklet. <laughs> I think in pi you should be doing these speeds in Piglet, and I should not. Yeah. Hogger mode. Hey, Run 8, I think you fixed, uh, screwed up the difficulty levels. <laughs> well, I'm. I forced my engine to, uh, hold at, uh, 38 miles an hour. I don't even know the slow speed controls. Control C. Does it indicate it anywhere in the cab? If you're using Jivos, the uh, speedometer, um, the numbers will turn blue. So I just crank the notch level to notch eight, uh, get up to speed, and when I'm in the P-42s and in an Amtrak train, um, I get up to speed and then I hold at around, uh, 70. Like, one mile an hour under 70. The truck just put its nose through the gate. Awesome! Also, I'm getting about five frames a second. Oh, I'm doing better than you then. And this is what the frame rate set to unlimited. Awesome. Because I... I think I'm, I think I'm doing close to 50. My frame rate is also set to unlimited, but I have V-Sync on as well. Oh, that's why. Never turn V-Sync on in this game. Oh, okay. I, I saw no reason for it. I, don't, I never have gotten screen tearing. It's not like Unreal 3 where that, or like Unreal Tournament where, you know, screen tearing can really happen. In this game, I've never seen it. If you 
do see some turn, by all means, put V-Sync back on. But... Yeah. <sighs> From a cinematic standpoint, I may have just gone through another cross. If I need to explain this section, something is wrong. <laughs> I'll let you take a guess at which section that is in uh, the options. Wow, a truck stopped inches from the gate. Also, because you're running TeamSpeak, um, I would suggest connecting to the TeamSpeak 3 client and doing channel and then channel uh, number 13. Why? Because... Me? I, yeah. I want to see if it works. That's... Oh, because I'm... I just heard a, a detector, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. The track one. Hmm. No, I did not move channels. God damn it. Okay. How about channel 12? What's 13 again? Mojave. I would suggest getting to 12 before I do. Oh, so you can listen in on the chat for dams? No. Uh, so that I know... So that, um... Like, I would... I'm gonna... Uh, oh, so we can hear each other through, team, through the, the radio. Yeah. I'm gonna drag you in there. Just in case. So, Master Key is going to be AFK for a little bit. I'm gonna set my train forward, or set my camera forward, that way I can see okay, the track. I just drove through the gates, and I was a quarter mile out. Why? Uh, I'm cranking the throttle notches to notch eight. Okay, I'm gonna drag you into 12. And if that doesn't work, then three. That's if TeamSpeak would respond. 290 is my number of axles. Awesome. And there goes Master Key real quick while I check and see if TeamSpeak will actually move me. Uh, last I checked, Radio Channel 21 doesn't exist. There we go. Yay, it works. You there? Yep. Okay, I got it to work. So what you have to do is you have to connect to uh, TeamSpeak via the TeamSpeak tab and settings. Okay, I'll do that. DTMF. Asterisk okay, one three. Yes, I can. Good. Now you want to do DTMF asterisk one three. DTMF 
asterisk one three. Wait a moment. Waiting for dispatcher to call back. Channel one three. Is that working? No. Because if I do it, I should move. Yeah. I do. Hey Brian, you out there? Weird. It's working for me. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. So let me get this straight. DTMF. Try DTMF yes. pound one three. Okay. Now nothing is happening. Now channel uh one three. Okay, I'm on channel one three. It says I'm in radio channel one three. Well, I didn't see you move. Okay, let me try this. DTMF. Asterisk. One. Three. BNSF BK Tower DNS Tone Acknowledged. Waiting for dispatcher to call back. I am the dispatcher. No, I'm not. And what do we have to wait for? Yourself. How do I do that? Channel one three? Ne F after you DT do a DTMF uh, asterisk one three, uh, you'll uh, want to do, do uh, channel uh, one three. Okay. Weird, it's working for me. I don't know why it's not working for you. Let's try general. No, it didn't move me to general. I'm in... Tell me I have to connect to TeamSpeak 3 client channel 1, 2. Okay, so it was working for me, and then it decided not to. You are still there, right? How did right? I get moved to number... Well, how did I get moved to number 12? I put you up there. Or, well, I just dragged you up. But it was working for me.
weird. I'll figure out the radio another time. You are still there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of pointless. It's, I'm gonna have to cut a big chunk of my fucking recording now. Nah. I, I'm gonna yes. leave it in there because I'm not gonna edit it too super much. Yeah. Oh, I'm at a red signal. Really? And I, just, I just went past it, so I'm gonna go try and do something else. Uh, I would suggest setting all your signals ne uh, before you leave well, next I was time. Busy when you wanted me to do this channel thing, I was busy moving a train, so... Yeah. HP oh, update, God. I don't want you. Also, af a year after Windows 10 comes out, I get to, uh, Grab Windows 10 for free. Oh my god, I get to drive the default GP portals. I'm so excited. I can't believe I can actually physically do this. Yeah, you can do that. I didn't realize you could do that. I thought they only worked in multiplayer. No, you can't. I've done it. Uh, for those of you who are watching and made it, all the way to the three hour marker which by the way this is now a 1208.5 megabyte file um random fact is random I prefer the GVOs over the SD40s or the GP40s because A to me aesthetically they look nice B I have to use a glass display and s and see I cannot go for old uh like mechanical um like dials and stuff like that. You can't really can't do the SD forties. I can't do the SD forties or the GP forties. I can and sort of Yeah, like I can Kinda do it. It's just I don't want to do it because of how. You're gonna. You have to learn. You're gonna have to learn at some point, though. That's the only thing I will tell you. Yeah. One of these days, when you're doing hump yards, remember what the hump yard train is. Yeah. SD forties. Yep. To be honest, there's really not much of a difference, but but beyond what's on the those c control panels. Remember, you always have that status bar running. The um locomotive monitor on the MFD. Not the MFD. That other bar that is like part of uses the same kind of uh, colors your heads up display. Oh yeah. You always have those running. Well, right now I don't because I'm using the MFDs. But those are a bit a bit more accurate than um the displays on the engines themselves, but only just. Okay, let's, let's try something. And we are now over three hours. This is my personal uh, YouTube channel recording longest video record. However, not for uh, Master Key.
Uh, Jonah? Hold on, I, I just realized I had the parking brake on. <laughs> um... Don't laugh at me. Someone can't throw a switch because it's stuck. Is that what the radio commentary is telling you? No, that's what I heard from the radio commentary from Pan Am. You are kidding, right? No. Please, please tell me it's your switch. Nope. Unfortunately, you it's they, not. You told me they once took an hour to get a point set norm. Yeah, it wasn't at 33, though. It was uh, somewhere else. Did I just send myself into a siding? Oops. I think I got a good ways, though. I'm gonna explore. I think it's not like a dead-end siding, though. If my mouse would stop dying. Shut up, we know what we're doing. Um, no, it's just a fuel track. With some really tight curves. Wow. Um, oh, with some tight, tightish curves. I'm coming in at like 20 miles an hour. You should be going 15, you idiot. I was on the main line. I don't think you understand what testing is like. Also, weren't you gonna play with the hump yard down in Barstow? Oh yeah, I was. I have to go make a Barstow session, probably. I'm gonna put this baby at not chain. I just wanna see just how fast she can accelerate. I never saw how fast the GP forties can accelerate. Yeah. Already doing forty. Fifty. Sixty. Oh, that's gonna be fun. She maxed out at 70. Aww. EP4 seemed to only be able to go so. No, wait. Yeah, speed limiter holds her at 70. Wait, am I actually on the outskirts of Barstow? Am I coming into Barstow? Where are you? Bakersfield? Uh, let, let me take a look. This is not Barstow. Hmm. Oh, how horrible. Is it? Um, no. Uh, this is not Barstow. I was horribly wrong. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm outside of Barstow, I've just learned. Uh, which CP are you at? I can't answer that question, Dave. Which control point or control sighting are you at? I can't tell because I'm sprinting. I'm following the track backwards to where I was. It's that point off to the right when you go to leave Barstow. Uh. That tight turn off to the right. I'm on that track. Where are you? Okay, you know where the hump diesels are parked? Uh, yeah, either receiving seven or receiving six. One or the other. Yeah, why? Why does the, tra why does the track stop loading right here? Um, right. where are you? Did you pass CP Hut? No, I, I spawned at a dead end, apparently, which is not a dead end. Which way did you go? Did you go over a bridge? Or under, I should say? I went under a little bridge near a fuel track. Simply put, here's the thing. You know where the hump your diesels are usually parked near, oh, near the, the other Oh, you tower? mean the bridge over by the servicing facilities? No. Simply put, let me put it this way. If you head north out of Barstow, not towards the Amtrak station, near where our yard is working, but near the Humpy Yard, 
head out the, on the main line there. Oh. If you keep going just a little bit, there's a tight curve that takes off, goes off to the right and curves more than 180 degrees. It, it's a really tight, long curve. I've taken a big, heavy freight train there once, and oh. then you come to a passing siding. I started on the passing siding. That's where I spawned those engines when I was trying to build a consist. And for some reason, that's where they load every single time I try to load them in the damn server. Because the game is like, oh no, they're, they're supposed to be spawning right here, because that's where you built them. Yeah. By the way. Um. I would have no idea where you're at. Hey, maybe because you're on a go. Shut up. You were just doing it. but I'm a person. Yeah, and so am I. White people don't have rights, David. You should know this by now. Shut up! Why? You can't handle the truth! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! I've never seen the movie, but I need to... You need to watch that movie right now. What is it even called again? A Few Good Men. Yes, A Few Good Men. I will, I just have to turn my ditch lights off first. Starting an Amtrak train. In the middle of freaking nowhere! Wait. You're spawning an Amtrak train in the middle of nowhere. Well, not nowhere. I started in the BNSF Yerno sub area, uh, Amtrak 35. Ah. Uh. But it doesn't tell me which yard right off the bat. I gotta start digging around to find it. I don't think it's marked on this tower. Oh, wait, is it? Um... Last I checked, all the points over by Yermo are hand. Yeah. Oh, wait, it should say it right here. Oh, that's a giant diesel fuel tank. Excuse me, sir. Can anyone in here let me in on where the hell I am? The yard of no station. Right here, back that's the station. No, that's a small warehouse building. Beautiful. There is nothing telling me what's. I'm starting on a single track. That's all I can tell you. Hmm. Which has a dead end. And on the other I'm, side. Yep, yeah, I'm starting on a dead end, single track at the end of a yard hmm. in Kansas on the 54th of July. Are you sure Mojave is located in Kansas? No, it is not, but I just pulled that out of my ass because it sounded funny. Pardon the language. I'm going to slow, gently start this train out at notch 8. I still have my crossing bell on like an idiot. No broken couplers so far, so we're gonna throttle down to notch three. And we're gonna put head end power on. Wait, are you able to turn on HEP inside the cab? Not that I know of. You might want to ask them if there's a way to do that. I didn't see one of the list of the controls. Okay. I have to use super zoom real quick for those so I can read my train length, which is 1147 feet, 56 total axles, single Amtrak number 35. I don't think the there's a single siding that will be able to support my train. 
total tons, 974. Total units, 14. Total DB axles, 10. A train mile an hour limit, zero. I think the closest I'm gonna get right now is um boron because that's um eight thousand nine billion times no eight thousand four hundred fifty four feet long my train is ten thousand two hundred fifty nine feet that is the longest siding on Mojave and in fact if I were to get onto the boron siding I would have to do that right now I'm at Barstow but I'm on a train that I don't know if it can make it to the hump yard from where it's currently standing. I would, um, um test that theory and make sure that you are, uh, correct okay, on that. judging by where I'm facing, I am nowhere near freaking hump yard. I'm on the other side. Oh, over by, um, the receiving yard? Yeah, but on the main line. Ah, that means... I have a massive train. That means you're over, on, or near the Y. I have DPUs and helpers. That's how long my train is. Yeah, I'm octuple heading. And for those of you who didn't hear me properly, I'm octuple heading. I'm calling train G C R I G U C. I don't know what format that's in, and I. It's a BNSF uh, lead unit. Okay, and I don't know, um, what that is or where it's going. I don't either, but I'm heading north or south out of Mojave, technically. Hmm. Wait, you're heading to Mojave? I'm heading out of... No, not Mojave. I'm heading out of Barstow. I'm sorry. To I'm where? Out. Okay. Simply put, I'm leaving the same way the Amtrak train leaves the station, where it has to go from the station through the yard. Crap! Because of where train racing, you will have to be exactly one block behind me. The entire time. No, two blocks behind me, I'm sorry. We can't, we can't do double track racing, one right next to it, one, one next to each other. Oh, no! Dear, you had to race to that switch, bitch! <laughs> no! Because I have a 10k uh, footer, and only yards can support the length of my train. None of the sidings can support the length of my train. So I have to be first in order to uh, get to uh, Bakersfield. Which means you would have to stop at the Jim Gray siding, or Hickinley, whichever you prefer. I'm doing 20 in this massive train. Wow. How long is your train? 508 axles, 7,494 feet in length. 122 total axles. This is an Amtrak train, right? 
No, no, I moved to that other... You remember how I told you I downloaded a custom consist a long time ago? It was a heavy train I couldn't get moving. Oh. It's that one, yeah. It's almost, It's just under 7,500 feet in length. It has 122 units total in terms of train cars and engines, and has 508 axles. Hmm. Total cons is one hundred is fifteen thousand eight hundred and forty eight tons. Hmm. How about your HPT? HPT. Where's power per ton? Uh. Two point nine. Wow. When this thing is fully loaded. I get an HPT of 2, and that's when couplers start breaking. I'm doing 33 in notch 6. 38 with an HPT of 7.2 in notch 8. This is leaving the yard, by the way. Oh, I'm already out in the yard. I'm over... I'm approaching Boron right now. You, you know that big that bridge that goes over the tracks um, back at Barstow near the inspection the siding. Oh, yeah. That's where I'm heading out of. I'm heading out. I'm making a right turn right there. Oh, at I Valley I'm Junction? Sure. I think so. I'm just just before the, the bridge. Yeah, that's so Valley that Junction. Hill, yeah. That means your next uh, CP is on uh, hut. Okay. Let me take a look at that. Hut, you said? Yes, H-U-T-T. -T. Okay, let me see where that is. It's on the Bakersfield, or Bakersfield, Barstow, uh, dispatch board. Oh, uh, I see, Hut. Did you add the Mojave sub to uh, your session? I'm on... Mojave right now. I'm not on your mount. Did you add Bar? Did you have to add Mojave to Barstow Yermo, or did you start with um, Bar, uh, Mojave? I started with Mojave. Okay. Why? Because otherwise I'd be hitting a dead end. Yes. Oh. I try and keep an eye on how the rest of my train is doing. Because my train is so long, I can cut this massive freaking corner and observe my DPUs. Hmm. My train is just out of the siding as of now. I repeat, hmm. my train is just out of the siding. I'm on the track now doing 40. My current limit is... 80. No. What kind of train are you? Great. Like, are you intermodal? Are you auto rack? This is boxcars and shit. I'm not seeing... I didn't see a lot of intermodal or any on this train. Okay. Let me check dams. I know, but I'm looking at the official limit thing right now, and it's saying 80. On what, the Shift F3 menu? Uh, you know that menu you can have come up on your MFD? Oh. Yeah, for, I'm looking at for me, that's broken. Um, That's not broken for me, that's reading 80. Because on the Amtrak train, it was reading 0 when I was on that yard track. Wow. NS seventy five seventy seven West side of Boron Medium approach I diverging. Look like I should be allowed to go eighty on this. NS seventy five seventy seven out. I'm on a tight single track right now, doing fifty. Wow. I got a bl I got a blink and yellow up ahead. Ah, uh, then you would. What's your engine number and company? Uh, BNSF, and let me just look.
Um, 7467. Then that would be BNSF 7467 approach medium at CP hut. BNSF 74. Applying brakes now. BNSF road number out. Dropping to 46. Dropping low. I see a crossing up ahead. Wait, you see a crossing? Yep, I just saw a truck drive across it. Cool. Uh, for you, you have a speed limit of 55. Oh crap, well I just dropped to 33, so I'm gonna kick the throttle back up to notch 8. But, because of your signal, um... You have a 40 MPH limit. Okay, well, I'm doing 32 right now. Prepare to pass the next signal not exceeding 40 MPH. This is a cop car on my right. Huh. He just pulled up at the crossing with lights on. Yeah. Why are his lights on? I have no idea. And it's only his front headlights that are flashing, not the rear ones. Oh, his light bar isn't on? His light bar is on, too. Uh, and his brights are on. Hmm. His brights are on! I know it's night, but you don't want to blind the freaking freight cars! Hmm. You said I had the speed limit of 40? Yes. Alright, I'm at 41 right now, hanging, holding 40. Okay. But that's, uh, for when you pass the next signal. No, oh. I'm holding at 40 anyways. And be prepared to stop. Where? Next signal? Yeah. Coming up? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me get out and look and see how far ahead that is from where I really am. I'm gonna have to start breaking now. Yeah, I got a yellow over red coming up. I'm still Approach. That. Prepare. Approach. Proceed preparing to stop at the next signal. Trains exceeding 30 MPH immediately reduced to 30 MPH. Okay. Uh, I mean, look what I'm... I'm dropping to 38 right now, just from coasting. 37. Oh, that means I have to drop speed in order to comply with my signal, because I have a, uh... I should probably turn slow speed on. I have an approach diverging. It's funny that Fraps is degrading the frame rate so much compared to OBS. Yeah. Three and a half hours of recording. 1,350 megabytes of space. Are you recording it to Demios? Nope. But how do you have 1,350 megabytes of space? That's just over a gig. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, so now I'm coasting. And hopefully the weight of the train behind me, which is 5,042 tons, should slow me down enough so that I pass the signal at 30. I'm passing at 28. Since you're taking a freight, and I guess we might as well train race this, 
you may as well stop in G at uh, Jim Gray. I'm on my way to Hut, remember? Yeah, but um, once uh, you do get to Jim Gray, uh, I would suggest turning off there because I have the longer cut of cars. So that depends on if I play around for that long. Yeah. I might want to get some sleep, and you might want to as well. Yeah, I'm stopping at Boron with my cut. Because, uh, I'm literally at the uh, CP for Boron. Oh. Are you just going to do a straight upload? I may upload this tonight, if I remember. I would suggest you do that and leave trains a new area to download over the night. Well, I can't do both. Well, let trains download tonight and let the video upload one while you're gone to school. Actually, um, cop actually stopped my crossing. Hmm. Does he have his light bar on? Yep. Go. Cool. But I'm now in notch eight. I have zero amps, and I'm going thirty on the nose. Oh god damn it. Um Joda red signal. I see my red signal. Yeah, stop. I think we might be I think we might be in trouble. Yeah. It's right before railroad crossing. Awesome. Um Jonah. I need the brake. Where's the brake? Jonah, I'm royally screwed. Because I have to foul the main line. In fact, I've. I have to foul the main line in the first place because of how long my cut of cars is. But there's a railroad crossing going through the yard. The siding. Really? Yep. That's illegal. I know. I have no choice. Oh, what's the railroad crossing in the center of a yard? Sighting. Doesn't matter. Apparently, the people who made the down. Whoever made Boron is a bunch of idiots. Yeah. Uh, we don't mean that in a serious way. <laughs> No. Well, you might not. Or, well, you might, but I don't. <laughs> I don't, but it's still one of those things of why? Yeah. <laughs> Quarter mile out from the signal, current speed 17 miles an hour. 30 on the nose, and I'm about a quarter mile out from my signal. Flying brakes hard. And then I literally have all of Boron to go oh, through to reach my um, stop. Um, I'm gonna go for sure the signal slightly. PCS is open. I repeat, PCS is open. Jonah, the emergency emergency brake is shift F5. I didn't do that. I was holding the brakes down for a bit and then PCS open just came on. Well, now you know the super emergency brake. Did I set that point to reverse? Yes, I did. Good. I stopped just slightly after the signal. I'm gonna end my recording shortly. Oh, one second. Weren't you supposed to play around with the hump yard in Barstow? 
to explain why the hump yard is called the hump yard? I was supposed to, but as you and I know, against my better, uh, better judgment reasons, I should at least get some sort of sleep, but I'm going to try and save my game first. So we yeah. can continue from tomorrow. Let's see, how do I save? Let's see, extra board, BNSF Bakersfield. No, that's not what I wanted to save. What do I call this thing? I don't remember the name of my train. Um, there we go. The first oh, one I remember is MRWCW or WC2. I know what to save my train as. I know what to save correctly. I know what to save mine as. Oh, and I see the red thing. I see this aw. Aw, red aspect all the way down at the other end of Boron. You see what? I see the red aspect all the way down at the other end of Boron. Um, I may have to foul the main a lot. Excuse me, I may just have to fuck up everything. Pay no attention. Yeah. And once again, pardon the language. Yeah, you can edit that if you need to. I'm not. Which is the reason why I say that every time you drop bomb. Yeah, I'm trying not to. And for the most part, we've been pretty clean. I will, you have to admit that. Yeah. Um. I mean, hey, you dropped a, a nuclear F in, in the first, you know, five seconds of the, of the first, like, 30 seconds of the, the trainsim.com video. Yeah. But I... It's like, hey, everyone, da 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 hey, efforts. Well, there goes our <laughs> language barrier. <laughs> it... There was good intent behind that one, though. Oh. My lead unit's on the point. Um. <laughs> um. It's on the fry. Um. Why? Because that's where the PCS put me. This is the reason why Shift F5 exists. You're not gonna believe this, but just out of hilarity, because I just did exactly as this the name of this gas station uh, said. It's called Stop and Save. <laughs> Great. Okay, there's gonna be a slight jump cut, folks, because when I try to take a screenshot of that, I hit F9 rather than F10. Oh god, I just realized the F10 key is the screenshot key, and it's also the refresh everything <laughs> key. I may have just taken a picture of a dark sky. This is the reason why I have F8 as the screenshot key for Steam. Um, there's also a truck parked here, which has its lights on and stuff, like it's actually parked. I'm because doing this parked. way too early, but the whistle marker is in the wrong, semi in the wrong spot. <laughs> the whistle marker is in the semi. <laughs> there's a semi truck pulled over by a police car here. Wow. Oh, I know where you are. That is realistic. In fact, it's so realistic that there's this broke, this, well, actually, it might be a hut right now, I'm not sure. Oh, Jonah. Good thing I've learned about whistle markers in Jeevos is that, um, at around the same time, the, um, the whistle marker hits the bottom of or the bottom of the whistle marker reaches the top of your dash, 
that's a good time to start doing the long, long, short, long. Especially if you're going at Amtrak speeds. You there? Yeah, I am. Okay. Don't worry. But yeah, I figured out. Wait. If you're in a P42 or Gvo, wait until the whistle m the bottom of the whistle marker is at the top of your dash. Okay, folks. Um I think are you still recording? Yes, I am. How much longer? Uh not too super long. All right, I'm going to end the recording on my end. So, for Master Key's recording, I've been Alpha, Alpha 1, or Admiral and Meep. Been, and this has been Delta with Delta 6, or Digitrex 83, or Master Key. Or and, Skrilly. Uh, yeah, or DJ Skrilly. Um, and uh, this has been our recording session, my side at least, of Run 8 Train Simulator. And for those of you who have... Um, started from the beginning of Master Key's video, he enters about 2 hours 17 minutes into my video. Yep, that's correct. Um, so, without further ado, this has been the end of my recording. Please continue watching his. I'll put a link in the description once his video is uploaded. And, uh, yeah. And his point. video ends at around 3 hours 40 minutes. Yep, that's For great. me. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. And continuing on my own recording. Okay, let's just check the file size real quick. <laughs> the files. How many Fraps files was that? I'm down to 360. Gigabytes. Wait, how, how many videos did it make? How many files did I just select? 10, 35.9 gigabytes. How much? 35.9 gigabytes. Wow. Also, um, if you're walking... What the fuck just happened? I don't know, but if you're walking down um towards the graveyard from the south deerfield crossing um there's no whistle marker to be seen and or heard of it's because the whistle marker is deaf <laughs> because reasons but there is genuinely no whistle marker up Worms Armageddon is on sale. I already have that. Three dollars and seventy-four cents. Yeah, I already have that. Wait, Painkiller is on sale? All of them? Hmm. Wait. wait He's wait, now wait. looking at Steam games while I'm still recording. Just for a moment. Yeah. Because Painkiller Hell and Damnation is on sale. But trades! Yeah, I just want to let you know that because there's a lot of stuff in the sale right now, but keep going. Keep going with your recording. So, yeah. Where are you now? Are you still at Boron? Or are you on your way to Boron? Or I'm close to on the siding, and I'm approaching a stop signal. Ah. Uh, and now it's going to take, like, two years for all of the air brakes to apply. In fact, I have to look at the brakes so that I don't accidentally PCS myself. Oh my god! All of the couplers just want to murder themselves now. All of the... Wait, what? All of the couplers just want a break. Does it really show that? Yeah, if you hit shift B it does. Yeah. 
I'm still going like 30 miles an hour in the siding and I'm like 200 feet from like two or three car lengths from the signal. I may have to use the super emergency brake. Oh shit, I could have gone off into the industrial siding and given myself a bit more room. See, there goes our language barrier. We're gonna get sued by Capcom for stuff. Well, it's almost the end of the video. There's a game called, there's a mod called Half-Life 2 Update. Why? A completely free and extensive community developed update for Half-Life 2 featuring beautiful lighting, countless bug fixes, and a brand new community commentary mode. This is free, by the way. And... I don't have to use the super emergency break. It's 6 point, 6.4 gigs, just to let you know. Awesome. Now then. Let's see how badly I'm following the main line and a railroad crossing. Well, the railroad crossing is a given length, so... Um, the railroad crossing is still going off. <laughs> and... Ooh, let's see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight cars are following the main line. That means I have to back up onto the main line and go into the industrial siding uncouple somewhere in the middle of my cut of cars pull forward enough so that I'm not following the crossing and so that I could tie down my train without having to worry about a car coming and destroying it. Wow, this makes Half-Life look insanely beautiful. I bet, but... Like Run 8 style graphics. Oh wow. That's why I, I was trying to say that is it looks literally like on par with Run 8 in terms of graphical fidelity, which is crazy. Hmm. Huh. But... Considering, considering Run 8 looks like Half-Life 2. <laughs> It, it does to a degree. <laughs> Keep going. But I'm gonna do all of what I just said off camera, and I'm gonna continue this to, uh, in the next <laughs> video. <laughs> when I do record. Why are you laughing? Just you're like, by the way, all that important stuff I just said, yeah, that's not gonna happen right now. Yeah, not on camera, at least. <laughs> oh, boy. So, I'm gonna end the recording here. I've been Alpha 1. And or Admiral Meep. And... The person who is now deaf has been...
Master Key and or DJ Skrilly and or Skrilly and or Delta Six and or Digit Tracks 83. We're signing off. Are there any more nicknames that I've forgotten about you? <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. The total file size for this is 1,473.7, maybe 8 megabytes. Have a good one. That's tight. That's tight.